Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 59 and we are looking at word problems. Let's go ahead and begin by looking at our story problem. Mr. Lee has to choose among three vacation packages for his family. Package V cost $10,788. Package X cost $1,452 less than package Y. Package Z cost $2,345 more than package X. How much does package Z cost? All right, and so here they have shown us how much this one cost. Now you'll see here they put the answer for Y inside. I, I prefer not to do that. Um, I would rather do it like this. I think it's just a little bit better than putting any of the numbers inside. Also, I don't typically put the dollar sign in those. But we see that this one is longer than this one, but then shorter than this one. So how do we solve this, right? So uh, which package costs the least? So looking at our model, we can see which one costs the least. This is going to be package X. Which package costs the most? And so here, we know that if we take this much away, 1,452, it makes this much, but then we're going to add more to Z. So we know Z is going to be bigger. What do I have to find? Well, the first thing I need to find is I need to figure out what X is. And so what other information do I need? I need to figure out X. All right, so to figure out X, we're going to subtract. So let's go ahead and do that over here. So I have 1,788 minus 1,452. Eight minus two is, try to say it before me and write it before me. Eight minus two is six. Eight minus five is three. Seven minus four is three. Zero minus one, I need to regroup. 10 minus one is nine. All right, so I think that's gonna be the right answer. Let's go and check that. So I have 9,336 plus 1,452. Six plus two is eight. Three plus five is eight. Four plus, uh, three plus four is seven. 9 plus 1 is 10. Those do check out. So now I know that x, and they didn't really give me a lot of space to write this, so I'm going to just model it down here like this. x equals 9,336. Okay, 9,336. Oops. 36. 9,336. All right, so now, uh, just the way I've modeled this, we can see on this model right here, this part is 9,336, and this part is 2,345. So now we have two parts. How do we find the total of two parts? Or how do we find a whole? We put them together, we add them, right? So we're gonna add. So now we're gonna do 9,000, 336 plus the difference between these two. So let's add those here. 9,336 plus 2,345. All right, six plus five is 11. One plus three is four. Four plus four is eight. Three plus three is six, nine plus two is 11. Let's check that. 1,100, sorry, 11,681 minus 2,345. One minus five, yeah, that'd be negative four, don't wanna do that. This is how it becomes a seven, this becomes an 11. 11 minus five is six, seven minus four is three, six minus three is three, 1 minus 2, I have to regroup. 11 minus 2 is 9. Those two check out, and therefore, 11,681 is most likely the right answer. So, package Z cost $11,681. All right, very good. Okay, let's move on to page 60. 
Now at the top of page 60, you see they wanted us to do the, the uh, check. We've actually already done that, so we're going to skip that stage. Okay, We did that over here, right here and here. These were our checks. It's always better, I think, to do the checks on the same page right next to the problem. All right? All right, very good. So learn together. A recycling center collects 336,944 pounds of metal. 107,250 pounds of metal were made into other products. The center then collected another 75,468 pounds of metal. How much metal did the center have in the end? Now, they've used two different bar models to do this, and that's probably the best way to do it. It'd be kind of confusing if we did it in one model. You could, uh, but it'd be hard, all right? So, the recycling center collects this much. So this is the total amount. So we're going to put that here. 236,944. Now they've put pounds here. Again, I typically am not going to put a money sign or a pound or any sort of measurement in my model. All right. Now, out of that amount, 107,250 pounds were made into other products. So we're going to put that one here. Right, and we need to figure out how much was left over from that. So here we have the whole and a part. How do we find the missing part? We subtract, right? So let's do that. So we're gonna do two, three, six, nine, four, four, minus 107250. Okay, so 236,000. 944 minus 107,250. All right. So let's go ahead and subtract. So here, 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 minus 5, I need to regroup. 14 minus 5 is 9. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 7, I need to regroup. This becomes a 2. This becomes a 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. All right, let's check that. 1, 2, 9, 6, 9, 4, plus 1, 0, 7, 2, 5, 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. Five plus or nine plus five is fourteen. Two, six and two make eight plus one is nine. Nine plus seven is sixteen. One plus two is three. One plus one is two. Okay, that those check out. All right, so one hundred twenty-nine thousand six hundred ninety-four. All right, so that's how much they had left after turning some of those into other products. All right. So the center had 1, uh, 129,694 pounds of metal after part of the metal was used to make other products. So that's this answer right here. 9694. But then they added, or they collected, another 75,000. 468. All right, so now here I have two parts. What do I do two parts to make the whole? I put them together. I'm going to add them. All right, one, two, nine, six, nine, four, plus. Seven five four sixty eight. Now, dealing with all these numbers, make sure that we're being neat. Make sure we have everything nice and lined up. Make sure we're respecting respecting place value. Four plus eight is twelve. One plus nine is ten. Plus six is sixteen. One plus um, well four and six and four make ten. Plus one is eleven. 1 and 9 make 10, plus 5 is 15. 
1 and 2 make 3. 3 plus 7 is 10. <clears throat> and 1 and 1 make 2. All right, let's check that. 2, 0, 5, 162, 75, 468. All right, so 2 minus 8, yeah, that would be negative 6, I need to regroup. This becomes a 5, this becomes a 12, 12 minus 4, or 12 minus 8 is 4. 5 minus 6, I have to regroup. 15 minus 6 is 9. 0 minus 4, I need to regroup. 10 minus 4 is 6. 4 minus 5, I need to regroup. I come all the way over here to the 2, it becomes a 1, this becomes a 10. Across this side, it becomes a 9, this becomes a 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. 1 minus nothing is 1. These two check out, and therefore, 200, 5,162 is most likely the right answer. We can't be 100% sure, but we can be pretty confident. Um, 162. All right, let's turn to page 61. And here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and break this up into two lessons. All right, so what I'd like for you to do now is to do page 61, just this one problem. Um, go ahead and work through this problem. Uh, make sure that you're modeling it. Uh, if you can do it in one model, something like this, that's great. If you need to use multiple models, that's also fine as well. But go ahead and do this. So the things that you need to make sure that you include, all right? You need to model it. You need to do the algorithms and the checks. And you need a sentence. Okay, so it doesn't provide a sentence for you. So make sure that you provide a sentence. All right, go ahead and do that now and come back to the video when you're ready. All right. So hopefully you were able to, to solve this one on your own. Uh, let's go ahead and work on it together now. It says that a factory has 45,700 glass bottles on Thursday. It made another 21,420 glass bottles on Friday. Due to an accident, 951 of the glass bottles were broken. How many glass bottles were not broken? Right? So I'm going to try to do this in one model. You may have taken two, and that's totally fine. So it said they made a total of 45,000. So 45,000. Seven hundred. They also made. 21,420 on Friday. But then 951 of the glass bottles were broken. 951. And I want to know how many were not broken. All right? So the first thing I need to do is figure out how many bottles were made. To do that, I'm going to ignore down here and I'm going to find add my two parts. That's going to give me my total bottles. So I have 45,700 and 21,420. Add those together, right? Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus two is two. Seven plus four is 11. One plus five plus one is seven. 4 plus 2 is 6. Let's check that. 6, 7, 1, 2, 0, minus 21, 4, 20. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 minus 4, I have to regroup. This becomes a 6. This becomes an 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. 6 minus 1 is 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. And those two check out. Okay, so now I know that I have 67,120 bottles in all. Now that I know that, so I can get rid of these numbers in the middle, all right, 
And now I basically have, ignore that line, I have two parts, right? I have the part that was broken and the other part, the difference, right? So how am I going to figure out this? If I know the whole and I know one of the parts, how do I find the missing part? I use subtraction. So now I'm going to do 67,120 minus 951. 0 minus 1, I need to regroup. This becomes a 3. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 3 minus 5, I need to regroup. This becomes a 0. This becomes a 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. 0 minus 10, I need to regroup. This becomes a 6. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 6 minus nothing is 6. 6 minus nothing is 6. All right, I want to check this. So now I'm going to do 6, 6, 1, 8, 9 plus 951, okay? Make sure everything is nice and straight, nice and lined up. Respect that place value. Nine plus one is 10. Eight plus five is 13, plus one is 14. One plus nine is 10, plus one is 11. One plus six is seven. And um, one one, six plus nothing is six. Now my numbers do not match up, so I have done something wrong. Oh, look what happened. When I borrowed, and you may have already seen this, when I borrowed to make this a 10, I made this two into a 13. Well, that's not right. It should be into a one that was then made into 11. 11 minus five is six. All right. So let's change this to a six. One plus six is seven. Seven plus five is 12. All right, and that's why we check it. Very easy mistake to make that I made, but now this number right here matches that number up there. And so I can have some confidence that this is the right answer, 66,169, all right? So how many bottles were not broken? Okay, 66,169 bottles were not broken. And there we go. All right, that is the end for today's lesson. Uh, good luck on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.